Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would film a much requested video which is my morning routine. So I am getting up here at about 7.15. I woke up a little bit before my alarm because I knew that I had to get up early to go to the gym on this day. So this isn't the morning routine that I follow every single morning. This is when I get up a little bit earlier to go to the gym and I am trying to reprioritize the gym and get there at least three times a week. I thought it'd be nice to bring you guys along on a productive morning with me. So the first thing I do when I get up is open my curtains and let some of the light in. This was such a grey morning so it wasn't great for getting up because it was so dark outside for so long. It was such horrible weather on this morning and I really can't wait for some brighter mornings to make it a little bit easier to get up. To get myself ready, the first thing that I do is wash my face and I've literally just been washing my face with warm water in the mornings recently and double cleansing at night because I read somewhere that it's better to do that if you've got sort of dry or sensitive skin. So I've been trying that out to see if it makes me break out a little bit less. And then the next thing that I do is brush my teeth. And then the next thing that I always do at some point very early in the morning is make my bed. I always have to have my bed made. It makes me feel like I'm ready for the day. Even if I get back in bed to like watch a lecture or anything or if I'm feeling really tired in the day and I know I'm getting back into bed in a couple of hours, I still have to make it again just because I hate having an unmade bed. So I like to make my bed first thing in the morning to make sure that I feel like I'm ready to attack the day. And then I will take my vitamins for the day. I take a multivit and one for my gut health. I also make sure to drink loads of water in the morning to rehydrate myself after sleeping and throughout the day really, but it's a good time to drink some water when I take my vitamins. And then I also take some CBD oil, which I have been taking for a really long time and I find it sort of helps with my sleep, my anxiety. But yeah, that's my personal experience. So I have taken that for such a long time now. And then I pop on my jewellery before getting dressed for the day, which brings us really nicely onto today's sponsor. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to jump in here and say a quick thank you to Lounge for sponsoring this part of today's video. So if you haven't heard of them, which I'm sure you have, they are a gorgeous underwear brand. And to celebrate their sixth birthday, they are having a site-wide sale. It is live on their site now. The sale will end when stock runs out and they do such, such beautiful lingerie, but they are all about comfort as well. And I know for me, I have to be comfortable to go through my work day. I also love that they have a huge range of sizes so they really should fit everyone properly. So I have some of their bras in a 30 double D but this time I actually got a 30E. I sized up and I think I have confirmed that a 30E is my actual size and it makes the bras so comfortable because they fit me so so perfectly and it can be quite hard usually to find those more like niche sizes because my underbust is smaller but like a 30 e is a pretty hard size to find unless you go to more specialist brands but lounge sell a huge range of sizes their bra sizes range from a 30a to a 38g and the bottoms come in an extra small to an extra extra large so yes every bra that i picked up was in a 30e and all of the bottoms i picked up are in a size small and i'm a I think I'm more of a size 8, but I think a size 8 to 10. But let me show you what I picked up. So I'll do a little cutaway of all of the sets that I picked up. And I got a nice range of colours, which I'm really, really happy with. But the first set that I picked up, which I absolutely love, is the Vogue Balcony. And I got this in the green colour. And it is underwired. And it has some really nice L mesh detailing and lace on the top. And the lounge band on the underbust. And this is the matching thong, which is so, so gorgeous. I love this lace detailing on the side. And this one is available in the black the emerald, maroon and purple. 
table and this Vogue balcony set was £50 and it's now down to £35. The next thing that I picked up which I think is amazing for everyday wear is this bra with no underwear which is called the Sustainable Lace Magic. So it is honestly so so comfortable and I know that I will reach for this so much even though the underwear ones are really really comfortable because they fit me perfectly as I said. I just love a bra with no underwire and it still looks so so pretty and these are the matching pants which go with they are honestly incredibly comfortable and this set was £45 and it's now down to £33.75. Comes in maroon, white, this colour and turquoise and hot pink and the next set that I picked out is this gorgeous delicate embroidered red set. I absolutely love a red underwear set. I just think it's so classic and I also didn't realise until it came but it actually has gorgeous embroidery of women on it and this set is available in the pearl the black and this is called the maroon this is the thong so this set was 50 pounds and now it's down to 40 pounds and then the final set which i picked out which is an absolute classic which i already have i think two sets of in different colors is the blossom balcony and i got it in this gorgeous navy blue color i absolutely love this color and then this is the thong that goes with it and they have that set in 10 colors i think because it is one of their absolute staples. So that set was £50 and the violet and mustard colours are now 40% off for £30 and all of the other colours are 20% off at £40. So yes that is everything that I picked out and you can shop it all by clicking on my link in the description box. I really hope you guys like the pieces as much as I do and thank you again to Lounge for sponsoring this part of the video. And let's get back to my morning routine. When I am getting ready and doing my makeup, I do my makeup every day. I should probably get more comfortable with not wearing makeup, but unfortunately I can't really leave the house without having makeup on. So every time I do my makeup in the morning, I watch a YouTube video or when I was trying to be more productive or when I was in the application season, I used to always listen to the Financial Times podcast, the morning briefing, to keep up to date with the news and for my commercial awareness. But yes, these days I just watch a YouTube video. Sometimes I do watch watch some like politics analysis or some news but usually I just do that when I feel like I'm in a good headspace to catch up with everything that's going on in the world and I don't think the morning is really the best time for me to do that and I actually think keeping the news and educating myself on these things to a time when I feel like I am able and well equipped to do it and setting aside time to specifically do that has really really helped with my mental health recently and then I get dressed and ready to go to the gym and I am wearing my Lululemons as always and a Tala sports bra is pretty much my go-to gym outfit and then a really really old cropped sweater which is like a fruit of the lean one which I cropped myself years ago and then I just whipped my hair into a ponytail to keep it out of the way while I was training and I've been loving that sort of high mid part ponytail look recently and then I put my training shoes on which are in desperate need of replacing I think I bought these secondhand when I was much much younger like years ago and they are quite literally falling apart so I should probably replace these soon but I wear Converse because lifting in flat soles is sort of better for your ankles for your balance and for driving through the floor and things like that so yes that is a quick summary but look that up if you want to read anything more about what shoes you should lift in and then I have to have breakfast before I train I'm not one of those people who can go to the gym and not eat otherwise I will feel very faint and I don't think I'd be able to lift as heavy to be honest but one of my absolute go-to breakfasts has been sourdough toast with some almond butter and then some berries so I've got strawberries and blueberries on this day and honey on the top and honestly this is is so nice and I feel like it's quite like nutritionally balanced it's a bit sweet in the morning and um, I quite like a sweet breakfast and oh my god if you haven't tried it you should definitely try it it's so so nice and then I always drink matcha every morning since I had covid I can't drink coffee anymore because it tastes absolutely terrible to me which is so upsetting but I have moved on to matcha which I drink every single morning and it's my sort of creamy hot drink with a little bit of a caffeine kick as well that has replaced my coffee and then while I eat my breakfast at my desk, I either watch some more of a YouTube video or sometimes I'll have to check my emails for the day, maybe reply to a couple of emails, but I will just spend a little bit of time going on my laptop before I head off to the gym. 
So I went to the gym and I did a quick full body day just to ease me back in because I had been feeling a little bit under the weather but I did manage to get up to about 80 kilograms on my sumo deadlifts which I was pretty happy with seeing as I haven't been training properly and I hadn't been for a little while because I'd been ill and then I did a handful of other random exercises to ease myself back in because I'm not really in a routine at the moment. And then when I got home, I had a protein shake. I've been trying to remember to have a protein shake after a chain because to be honest, I don't think I eat enough protein in my diet because I am a pescatarian and I don't really make too much of an effort to eat protein. So I've been trying to remember to have a protein shake after I work out to make sure that I get some protein in. And then I did a load of washing this morning, which makes me feel a little bit more productive while I do some work. And then before I hopped in the shower, I wrote out my to-do list for the day, which I take from my weekly to-do list, which I do at the beginning of every week. So I know what I have to get done in that week. And on this list, I wrote my laundry. I had to go to a Spanish class. I had to film some clips. I wanted to watch a two hour criminal justice lecture. I wanted to watch a company lecture. I needed to pack to go home um, after my Spanish class that day. And I also needed to do some emails. And I just find planning out my day on a to-do list is an absolute must to make sure I know what I need to get done that day to keep me productive, to keep me motivated and make sure I'm not sat twiddling my thumbs or anything throughout the day. I hopped in the shower before getting ready just because I was pretty sweaty and I love a hot shower in the morning but I'm absolutely terrible at getting out of the shower because I love a really really hot shower. Afterwards I got dressed and this is the gorgeous lounge set that I picked out which I absolutely love for everyday wear because it is so so comfortable and then I just picked out a simple outfit and that is everything that I did. I sat down and got on with my work day and started tackling some of the tasks and work that I had to do for that day and that is pretty much what my mornings look like. Any other morning that I don't go to the gym is literally exactly the same, minus the gym part. And I get to stay in bed a little bit later. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed spending a morning with me. I really enjoyed doing this video because it was something a little bit different to share with you guys. So let me know if you'd like to see any more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.